Major development in Grand Rapids Belknap neighborhood broke ground today. It's called the Gateway at Belknap, and it's on the north side of I-196. But new at 6 o'clock, we're learning that some people who live in the area are not welcoming those changes. 24 News 8's Coco McAvoy spoke with city leaders about the plan for the community and a resident who really isn't happy about it, Coco. Good evening. City officials say the fact that the Belknap neighborhood is located near downtown in the Medical Mile makes it a prime spot for development. But some residents say it's tearing apart the community. The Belknap neighborhood is one of the fastest growing areas in the city. Two blocks in the neighborhood have been demolished to make room for two multifamily developments and a new health campus from Grand Valley State University. The neighborhood has had mixed reactions. Marilyn Walker has been living in the neighborhood for about 20 years now, and her backyard now faces the Gateway at Belknap project. This sucks. They took my neighborhood away. They took friends away. All do, quote, better themselves or better the community. Walker says she's worried her rent will increase, an issue that the city of Grand Rapids is aware of. That's a major issue for us, um, but we're also limited by state law as to what we can do to be able to preserve that housing. Developers say the project will bring 150 jobs to the area, and they worked with the community to create an area-specific plan that will transform the area for the better. We took out 13 homes and replaced it with 88. So I just deal with the math and say, and, and the houses were in need of huge repair. And these are state-of-the-art apartments and on-site parking, underground secured parking. Uh, it was just a, it's just an enhancement all the way around. But Walker says she just doesn't see any good coming out of it. I am definitely stressed due to this. And yeah, I got bills for it, but bills don't mend a broken heart. And this breaks my heart. Developers say they received unanimous support from the Neighborhood Association, the Planning Commission, and the city, and the project is expected to be complete in one year. Reporting live this evening, I'm Coco McAvoy, 24-Hour News 8.